Hi, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Garden of Ban Ban 2. And I haven't even had this game for 15 minutes, and it's already advertising Garden of Ban Ban 3. Can't wait for that to come out. Alright. Uh, so it looks like there's a birthday party happening here. For a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock to advance the time. Uh, for a parent... Okay, that just says the same thing. Again. I don't see anything changing. Oh, well there goes one of the tables. There goes another one of the tables. And the lights are off. Cool. Oh yes. Started off, or we ended off the last video with um, same Josh, I think. Jumbo Josh, dragging us down into a dark void, into the abyss. So, I'm missing a very important tool. Ah, the key card. Forgot about that. Did I not grab the key card? Oh, my controller that I found it. I fell down here. There we go. Ah, yes. Here we are. I don't like the looks of this, but... Pink. This is it. The things we've done have finally come back to bite us. Everyone's gone, and the whispers from the abyss just keep getting louder. I think even I saw a face or two looking up at me. We were told everything that gets thrown into the abyss dies, but it appears we were tricked. If you're reading this, take my advice and leave. Everything should be forgotten and erased from history. Well, that I will take. I'm gonna do that. I don't know what happened. Oh, bridge. Nice. Okay, that's kind of scared the crap out of me, but I'll go with it. The testing sector? That's really what it's called. Okay, and then what's over here? We got the medical sector. Outer sector. And caught that. So dark. I don't even want to attempt to read that. I'm going to anyway. Calm sector. Okay, cool. Alright. Except, uh. Can't access it. It's in there. Bunch of green, it looks like. What is the point if I can't even access Oh, I see. Okay, so what am I. I'm sorry, was something supposed to happen because I wasn't looking? Okay, that didn't change though. What am I supposed to do? The medical sector? Wait, okay, so that's activated, yeah. Can I select where it goes? Oh, snap, yes I can. The comms sector. Spider is real. Ah, spiders aren't real. Who believes in that crap? There is an elevator to success, but stairs are a good exercise. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Oh, so that's where all the tables went. The spider is real and it's coming. I don't want to think about that. 
We got a bing bop bing. We got a boop bop bam. Nice. Okay, so what is it? What do you want? You come here for my peanut butter hot cocoa? Oh. Damn. Guess not. up here. Ooh. Notice, you are expected to punch in from lowest to greatest. Customer registration recap board. Okay, I feel like something just clicked, but I don't know what it is. Uh, Drew, Weaverly, HH, June, Rachel, Mazum, Shaver, Reha. Okay, half of these aren't even real names. What are you on about? <laughs> H H really? Mm. Ah yes, here he is. Hello. Hey, you there? I I can see you on the cameras. I am so happy to see you, and I, I, I need your help with something. Wait, can you even hear me? That twisted Hello? guy. Listen, yes. If you can hear what I'm saying, wave at any camera. Okay. Okay, that's a loudspeaker. Where's the... Where's the camera? Oh, here's one. Snapperoni. Hello. I don't trust this guy. I don't know why I'm doing anything for oh, him. Thank God. I'm so glad you're here. I thought this was the end. I was looking around and walked into the security room. Then the door closed behind me and I've been stuck inside since. It needs a light blue key card to open, but I don't have it. I know why you're here, and I can help you, but you've got to get me out of here. If I recall correctly, uh, only maintenance workers held the light blue key card, so you're gonna have to go down to the maintenance room and look there. The door there is probably locked as well, and I can't open it from here, but I do have control over the break room door. Here, I open it for you. See if you can find anything useful in there. I'll see why not. Oh, so this, uh, this is the room that, uh, had all the, um, stuff in it. Emergency alarm. Well, an old friend is waiting in the lobby. Oh, well, that's reassuring. I don't want to go in there, though. Oh, this is the freaking drone. Jesus Christ. I don't know why I was so scared. Press, press right mouse button to help with the switch. Oh, yes, I know how to use the drone. Thank you for the reminder, though. Hey, yo, go press that. God, you're fast. Okay, what did that do? Absolutely nothing, huh? Hey, yeah, what? Whoa, I can customize my drone? That's crazy. I'm gonna make it red. There we go. Now, where is it? Where are you, drone? Ah, there you go. Beautiful red color. Mwah. <laughs> okay. Oh, pinky card. Oh. Never mind. Apparently, I guess that's not allowed. None of these are allowed. Oh, all of them turn red when you do that. That's funny. I can still wave at the camera. My memory is a little fuzzy, but I do remember something about management allowing workers with good scores to punch in later than those with worse scores. The better your performance, the later you're allowed to punch in. This was to encourage workers with lower scores to come earlier and perform better. Naturally, this meant that the person with the lowest score would be punching in first. To make sure that this was always the case, a, a system was set up to only allow the workers to punch in in the perfect order that assumes that nobody is going to be late. Yeah, this system wasn't very well liked. I'd imagine. 
Thanks. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Help me, my dude. I need your insight. Hmm. I'm trying to remember more. I think the colors of the offices weren't just for decoration. That's pretty the obvious. I think which hoop out what score is more easy. Sorry, it's, it's just hard to think with everything that went down. Okay, I see what I have to do. So that one, that one, and then the lightest blue, to third lightest blue, to second lightest blue. No, it's the f darkest blue. Okay, so that, that, this, to third, to fourth, to second. And then what did I do last time? Did I do that one? I think I need to do this one then. No. Wait, hold on. This one? Yep. And then, boom. There we go. Yes. We got a yellow key card. Or green. Whatever you want to call it. Sweet. Now you can go down to the maintenance room. Remember, you're looking for a light blue key card. Good luck and thank you. You're welcome. I think. Wait. So hold on. Where's the maintenance shaft? Oh, there it is. Okay. So that's green. I'm still confused. Like, so slow Salim wasn't there. Sheriff Toaster wasn't there. Whoever the hell this is, he wasn't here. Oh, nab nab. It's okay to have no friends and be miserable. Like me. <sighs> yeah. Look at you. Of course you have no friends. Sheriff Toaster says, Treat others how you'd like to be treated. With respect. I may be slow, but I'm quick to help anyone in need. Hey, how about you exit the game for me, huh? What? Reminder to all workers. Work in groups no smaller than two. Okay. Carry flashlights at all times. Flashlights are in the equipment room. If in the direct confrontation with the spider, cause as much noise as possible until help arrives. Okay. Okay, so let's see here, of, yep, there's one to the polar opposite direction of the arrow, so I already broke in one rule. Uh, do not want to follow the, the arrows, but given I probably have no choice. This is scary. Uh, oh, oh, I made it. Okay. What was I say? Okay. So the blue, okay. Moral of the story, don't trust the pink arrows. Taking this. Is that a toaster? Okay. Remember to protect yourself. Oh yeah, that seems like a no-brainer. Emphasis on seams. Okay. So we've got one button over here. Yes, sir. And then we got this button behind glass. You have to point it at the side. There we go. Unbreak it. There we go. And then we got bam. Open sesame.
What? <laughs> did the downstairs door open? Yes, it did. Okay. Boo. Ah! That looks like black. It's like blue. Okay, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Uh, hi. Can I help you? Uh, okay. Okay. Well, it looks like in this particular place, or in this particular case, do not trust the pink arrows whatsoever. Okay. Going for it. Yes, thank you. Blue arrow, thank you. Nope. And no. And no. Well, at least I didn't die. That's good, I guess. Never trust no goddamn pink arrows ever in my life. No wonder he's in a room alone. Yo, buddy. Need some help over here. What are you, asleep? Okay, whatever. It's fine, I guess. We didn't get a tape by chance, did we? Oh, yeah, we did. Uh, look at Bam Bam on sleep on the floor. Really? Is that all that is? It's just Bam Bam sleep on the floor. Poor guy. say oh yes light blue that's it right hmm okay he's not in there so where would he be or maybe he is that's the door that it's supposed to open right If you read this fast enough, we might have saved. I plan to sneak up on you. Oh yeah, he certainly did that. Three birds with one stone. I get all of your key cards. I get the perfect specimen, and I don't have to deal with the thing down there. Ass. And it's all thanks to you. Oh come on! I didn't eat you that hard. Or maybe I, I did. Either way, it's best you take an app while I prepare for our little surgery. Now where the hell am I? Hmm. Your key cards have been taken away. Thanks a lot, Peter Parker. Your spidey senses are working. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? Okay, so we got a button over here. I don't think it can be pressed yet. And we got an X. 
and a key card on the ground over there that I can't seem to get to. Let's try the button. Uh, first of all, I'll come over here. Okay, then get over here. Press that button. Okay, so... Aha! So we got two X's. So we got one X over there, another X over there. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. Get over here first. And then... Boom. Mm. So, what does that do? Oh wait, yeah, hold on, I think I think I know what I'm supposed to do. Bam, I am a genius. Okay, get this glass out of my way. Yellow. And button. Ah, thank god. Alright. Let's see what we have to do. Just realize, what is this green trail that's on the ground? Don't. Second thought, I don't want to know. There's a yellow. Apparently, I do have a yellow key card. So, which door is that supposed to open? Uh, hello? Wait a minute. I am not getting on the elevator. I'm not getting on the elevator. No way. Okay, fine. I'll do it. What the heck? My bad! Do not cross, it'll trick you. Okay, well that's... <laughs> that much is true. What is this? Like, why is there like a bunch of dead bodies everywhere? What's there? No, I don't have a pink one. I do have a yellow one though. Open sesame. Jesus. Okay. Oh, this is another puzzle. Okay. Let's see. What is this? I got a weird looking syringe. Distract before extraction. Okay, red, light blue, yellow, pink, light green, dark green, brown, and orange. Ah. Okay. What's over here? Okay, there's a bunch of yellow doors over here. Bing bing bop boop and a boop bop bing. Alright, which one do we go in first? I'm going with the left one. Christ. Uh, child, baby, fish, elephant. Okay. Yeah, these you can definitely tell these are kindergarten drawings. Okay. 
I got green stuff. And more green stuff. And more green stuff. I don't know this one that's laying over the bench. Did I already get him? I think I did. Okay. And this yellow guy. And then where do I put it? So you might put it in this jar, right? Okay. Distract before extraction. Is that the guy that pushed me earlier? Okay, so how exactly do I go about doing that? Red guy. Ah, <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't think I've extracted anything from this green guy, did I? So I'm assuming uh, what he was talking about is this guy, right? Hey, don't look at me like that. I know you wanna. Little. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Oh Jesus! And you were the only. One left that was actually alive. So that's how you distract them. Hey, don't look at me like that. That's not where I meant for you to go. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll deal with you later. Okay, cool. So we got that. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. Is there an option to save my game here? Or, I don't know. Alright. I'm sorry I have to do this to you, but. So. Are you gonna poke him in the eye or not? There we go. What? Okay, I guess that's not how that works. Interesting. adjusting your resolution on its own. This is getting annoying. Cannon. most unethical, but that works too, I guess. Okay. No, stop. He's, like, actually gone. Poor dude. Okay. Well. Here we are. And... Here we stay. Because I do not want to continue. Yes. I, I don't like the look of this one. Oh, hey. We've been here before, haven't we? 
You haven't. The hell? Okay, anyway. I doubt he's gonna be in much trouble. That's just my gardener. L. L. Uh, Sakputas. Yeah, that's my gardener. Okay, this green. Whatever this is. Clearly wasn't here before. And, uh, Jumbo Josh is not there anymore. So. My takeaway from this is that Jumbo Josh is not dead. But whatever that sector is over there across the way, that's open. So. I'm gonna go there. You wouldn't mind that, would you, Al Sakamintas? Good. I'm glad. Okay. Uh, testing sector. Awesome. Okay, there's some buttons. So, drone, I need you. Come over here. I need you to press that button over there. So that you can come over here and press this button. And then I need you to come over here. <clears throat> come over here. So that you can come over here and press this button over here. And then shortly after that... DO IT! Goodness. And then come over here and press this one. There we go. Now, theoretically... That door on the upper... Shall open. Now oh, wait, hold on. There's a key card on the desk over here. Swipe. Alright, what does this one say? Case update report. Case number 10. Phoenix Phenicopterus Roseus Givinium. Update number 2. Case type number 2. Alias, the bird. After the recent genetic modifications that were applied to case number 10, uh, significant behavioral changes have been observed. Aggression towards certain demographics has been completely replaced with protective and motherly behavior. Said demographics include individuals of small stature, high-pitched voices, and those with childlike attributes. Individuals that do not fall into the demographics are still met with extreme aggression that can turn lethal due to the case's large size and possessions of a very sharp beak. <laughs> Oddly said, the demographics are almost exclusively human, with the exception of Case 10A, Case 10B, Case 10C, and Case 10D, Case 10E, and Case 10F. All organisms, birds included, both young and adult, are met with the same level of aggression as humans who do not possess childlike related attributes. Case is not ready for presentation. Now where am I? Okay. Wow. This hallway's long. These doors don't work. I don't have a key card for that. Those two doors don't work. I don't think I have a key card for this one, do I? Nope. Okay, well. We were just here. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Those two don't work. Come on, there's a no on the wall. How to survive a giant snail attack. When the eyes are close together, you stop, go. Hmm, where have I seen this one before? Uh, I 
sounds oddly familiar. <laughs> yeah. Okay, buttons. Boom. Trust that. Nope. Not going in there. All right, fine. I'll bite. What do you have? Kidding. Quick, in here. In where? Oh god, not you too. Hello? Everyone, I want you all to welcome our newest student. Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh it's live sorry. This time, since it's your first day, but be late again and have a repeat of pieces. You're a well, new sure, sure. unpopular student, so you will have to sit with the unpopular table in the middle. Now sit, so we can begin. In the middle? Okay, I'm here. Okay, class, so the first lesson of the day is math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn how to annihilate others, how to safely extract the human brain for eating, and... Oh, wait, I made a mistake. I think that's lesson four of the day. For math, over the course of the semester, you will learn what? to add, subtract, divide, multiply, and so much more. I am so excited. I'm not. Before we start, let's revise some of the basics. What is 6874123612 plus 9819399912? And remember, what? wrong answers will be very harshly punished. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I can interact with multiple of them. I trust this guy. Correct! You kids are really paying attention today. Next question, and one that I wrote myself. What is two plus two? Okay, everybody knows the answer to that one. Uh, which one will get me the right one? I'm going with this one. Correct! Wow, I thought everyone would get it wrong. All right, last question before your lunch break. What is misery plus disappointment? Oh, dramatic kid, for sure. Oh, wait, what? That's all the time we have for math for the day. Go to your lunch break, and then we'll start the next lesson when you come back. Okay. Why is my drone in the naughty corner? Uh, anyway. Okay. Let's see. Please save our friend. He's getting bullied over there. Okay. You want to save this for? Give us your lunch money. Okay, why is there pieces of gum stuck everywhere? Because, oh, I didn't read this. We're the cool kids and we chew gum. Get us gum for money. Uh, yes. I'm aware of that. No, there's another one stuck on the door. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'll take that. Uh, bam. And here's your friend. Boom. Like a pro, I am telling you. Oh, and, um, it's glasses. Nice. Attention, everyone. This announcement concludes your lunch break. Please return to your classes. Also, teachers, Please keep in mind that we're on the lookout for a very, very naughty student, believed to be accompanied by a drone. If you catch them, call Principal Van Van's office immediately. Well, that's reassuring. Hey, you didn't see the person they're talking about, did you? No. Oh, what am I saying? You're one of the cool kids. Of course you don't talk to ugly, unpopular kids like that. How do you think those water cans feel? Where you belong. Okay. Okay, kids. 
The next lesson is science. Like we did for math, and since this is the first science lesson of the semester, it will only be a review lesson. But first, let me introduce you to our classroom rules. No eating, no talking, no breathing, no moving, no asking questions, and no washroom breaks. Remember, I will have to punish you very, very harshly if you break any of those rules. Back to the review. Let's start with something easy. How hot is the sun? Uh... Oh! Wrong! What do you mean, wrong? That's the sound you would make when you're touching something hot, wasn't it? Oh, I guess R is the sound that you make. I guess. Man, I am so done with this game, dude. <laughs> laugh is that? But only because it made me laugh and because you're a cool kid. I can tell by your very cool glasses. Next question. How many hearts does an octopus have? Sea life lovers should definitely. Correct. Stinger Flynn, what? Hmm. That's half right. Since Stinger Flynn is close to an octopus, he's a jellyfish. But I'll allow it. Since you're a cool kid, normal octopuses have three hearts. We humans have one, and Stingerflint has... Um, I'm not sure actually, but let's move on. Next question. We have five senses. Sight, smell, taste, touch, and... Something like this? Correct! <laughs> oh, you just gave me my fifth sense. <laughs> Close enough. I'll allow it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for science for today. Go on to your second break and then start the next lesson when it's over. Want to join us, punk? Give us some lunch money. Okay. Did not want to have to do that. I know they're watering cans, but <laughs> still. It, it just feels cruel. There's your cash. I guess. And cool, I got the ultimate bully pin. Attention everyone, this announcement concludes your second grade. Please return to your classes. Oh wow, three new kids in one day? Yep. One unpopular kid? Yuck. One cool kid, and one mean kid. Yeah, I guess Welcome. you can say that. Sit on the table to your left, where you belong, so we can begin. Okay, kids. The next lesson is health and kindness. Just like we did for math and science, it will only be a review lesson. Let's start with some common knowledge to freshen your stupid brains. Wow! Anyone here give me an example of an unkind person? Well, all of these are unkind, so I assume any I, I can choose any of them. Idea. Correct. That is a perfect example. Good job. Assuming it wasn't directed at me, of course. Now, this time, can anyone give me an example of a kind person? I will give you a then. Correct! Exactly! Giving others things without expecting anything in return is exactly what kindness is. Jesus Christ. This class is going to be great! I can feel it! Wait, what was that? I wonder if it's a new student. Nobody move while I check it out. Escape? To where? Oh, wait a minute. He 
he awakes from his naughty corner. Press the button. Quickly. Before she comes back! Don't snitch on me skipping and I'll give you some gum. Okay. Uh, I'm head out. See ya. Run. Run. No, run. 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 No, you didn't. Why do I have to adjust this constantly? This is getting annoying. There we go. Um. I'm going this way. <laughs> what is this? Capture the birds and place them in the nest. That's a weird looking nest. Hey guys. Hey, bye, I guess. Hey, where do you think you're going? Get over here. Okay, you're going in here. when it's dark out. My orange key card. And, uh... What else? What's up, homie? Aw, how wholesome. Okay. Oh, hi. Find the appropriate door before you get cornered. Hello. Okay. She moves pretty fast for a snail. Where are you hiding? Okay, get in, get in. Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, in I go. Gotta say. Oh, great. Another puzzle. Wonderful. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I don't have a green card, so. I got a seesaw. A seesaw. A seashell. Okay. The rules of the cannon game. Cannons must be fired at lit at the lit buttons, okay. Only one cannon can be fired at a time, the timer must not run out. There are three in total, okay, so what if it does run out? Okay. Okay, so I've got two so far, right? Three, now, four, Why? Oh. Stinger Flynn mission. Stinger Flynn likes to collect seashells in his chest. Find eight of them to get your prize. Okay, so that's what the seashells are for. Right? I forgot what number I'm on. I think I'm on six now. Make seven. Oh, here we go. Eight. Boom. Uno, dos. Nice.
Okay, so we got a total of nine fireworks. Cool. Okay, let's see. Cannon game. Oh, it's behind me. Okay. That one? So it can be any four of them. Okay, so that one. Okay, so bam, there's that one. Got that one. Wait, what? Where's the button? What? Hello? Oh, I see. Okay. So, not four buttons, there's six buttons. They're trying to sugarcoat it. This one again. Boom. Grab another firework. Downstairs again? Oh, it's this one this time. Woo! Okay. So. Slaps. You got four, you got three handshakes, and you got ten stings. What is this? Why is there so many computer monitors on this desk? I don't know. Uh. I'm very wary of reading pieces of paper because they're going to freeze up my game and crash. But let's do it anyway. Case report. Hold on. There's a QR code. I need to scan it. Uh. Let's see. There's no such thing as a perfect child. Uh, on Google. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. Case number one. Case type one. Update number two. Symbol GV. The case mentioned in the previous report has moved on arm as if its artificial nervous system had worked for a split second. As predicted, the GV seems to provide identical functions to blood when combined with cases 3, 6, and type 5. Mammalian circulatory systems are ineffective. The case of type 2 from the previous report has also 
had a strange psych physical effect. GV appears to expand in size, where it is sent to flow. As a result, the case has grown a number of veins across its body and has grown significantly in size. Neither growth appears to have any kind of negative effect besides the risk of looking unpleasant to the youths. Okay, was that the mint green guy that we saw earlier? We are going to proceed with adding more cases of type 5 into the case of type 2 from the previous report in the pursuit of a more lifelike behavior. Studies of GV continue to be performed. On your turn, everyone falls. Cool. The strings interfere? Are you serious? Okay, go over here. Go over here. Yes. Oh, forgot about the strings. Strings do interfere. And a blue. Two red. Oh, yep. Green, yellow, black. Or maybe that's just blue. And I'm. Lighting is absolutely dog crap. There we go. And then green, my eyebrow itches. Yellow, blue, green, yellow, red, green, yellow, blue. Oof. Yo, y'all, you think you think I can make this jump? Huh? Okay, cool. Red. Oh, yep. I got a tape. Okay, it seems like we have to go this way. I have to be very meticulous with my jumps. I don't want to go flying over the edge now. This one I don't care because it's a statue of a wall. Uh, it's all the others. I have to be a little bit meticulous about. I do not want to sprint. This one looks like I have to sprint. Yes. And this one too. This one it's fine because I sprint because I'm just going to run into a wall. Yellow. I like... I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying the color of the platforms that I'm jumping onto. Okay, well, it's obvious that I have to sprint to put that one. Okay. There we go. Boom. Bang. The winner's corner! Count me in! Woo! Okay. Case update report. Case number 10. Hold up. No, the QR code. Have to scan it. Do not trust the jellyfish on Google. <laughs> Do not trust the jellyfish in Far Cry 6. <laughs> I'm not playing Far Cry 6. It remains unknown why case number 10 is aggressive towards the adults. Conditioning also remains as ineffective as it was in the first report. What has been discovered, however, is the reasoning behind the seemingly random instances where case number 10's eyes became bloodshot. Blood hot soot eyes have also been linked to unusually high levels of aggressiveness. This behavior has been concluded to be the direct result of Case 10, witnessing or hearing the surfering of Cases 10A, 10B, 10C, D, E, F, despite having an abnormal color scheme. And any and all individuals possessing childlike attributes. Examples of said childlike attributes have been described in the second update or the report. Case is not ready for, for the presentation. Okay. I have made it through. Now what is at the end? Hi. Almost there. Come on, homie. Let's get it. Ooh, I got the cape now. Okay, what? <laughs> 
There's something coming up. Oh my god, no, not you. You know, on a normal day, you'd be standing where I am, behind the safety of this glass. Like you're in a zoo watching some animals. Speaking of zoos, it's almost assembly time, where all the doors open, so we must keep this free. Look, uh, I'm sorry, did you, but you gotta understand. I needed something from you that I could only get if you were unconscious, and I was all out of sight. If you'd seen me, you wouldn't have trusted me, I know. But there was one thing I didn't like you about, and that's me knowing why you're here. You're here for your children. I have children? I too, and I'm working for saving them, if you can't believe it. Can't. But someone else has them. Someone far stronger than you and me both. That resides deep in the abyss. Oh no. You've gotta go. There's an elevator in the pillar's walkway. Take it and I'll we'll talk again down there. Jesus Christ, fine. Okay, why is this door not opening? You've been a bad student. Thank you. That's what I'm most famous for doing. Wait, what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, bro. Hey, don't you dare scream at me. <laughs> Open the door. They're coming! You've been a bad student. That's what I'm most famous for doing! Okay. Oh, come on, bro. You can't just do that. Well, that works too, I guess. So, why can I not access this? What's in here? Oh, I can't crouch. I don't have a key card. White. Beep, beep. Uh. Oh my god, no! Not the elevator again! Uh. Fine, I'll buy it. <laughs> oh my god, what? No matter what, don't go down there. Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? Alright, well, I'm out. I'm done. A cool hat has been unlocked. Bro, I don't give a crap about the god dang hat. I'd snitched on a basketball. Can you believe it? Alright, well. Thank you for joining me on this journey of Garden of Van Ban, Chapter 2. 
or number two, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.